Okay, so um, uh, real quick, I'm actually on just waiting for some Forza videos being uploaded on my Xbox, but um, and I'm also watching some Ultimate RC. Uh, today, this is episode two of my Traxxas Slash build. Um, today, I'm actually going to be removing the uh, original, the old shock oil in here and putting in some new ones. Um, I, I went to the RC hobby shop today, my local hobby shop, to get some more shock oil and also some some springs as well. And um, the shock oil that I'm using, these are actually um, stiff springs, so. They're gonna be decent around the racetrack because I don't want something that's too too soft. But uh, I got shock oil uh, from this is these are from Team Losi Racing. Um, the f this this is a 50 weight shock oil and this one is a 70 weight. Um, I'm gonna be setting up uh, 50 weight on the back and 70 in the front. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and clean these shocks up and then um, we'll go from there. I got to disassemble it actually first. Okay, here's the, the shocks all cleaned up. You can just guys can see it, but uh, there it is. It's all cleaned up. Uh, you guys may notice that uh, the bores, the shock bodies, are shorter than the other. Um, one of them is actually the the shorter ones are actually for the front of the vehicle, and then the longer ones for the rear. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to uh, change the. Uh, shock oil in here. This is originally a hundred weight shock oil, but I'm gonna bring it down to uh, 50 and 70. 70 goes to the front and 50 goes to the rear. So just a little bit of tweaking. Uh, so yeah, and I'm also gonna grab some of these. Uh... Should have brought this out. Started, but uh, I'm gonna grab some of. Uh, have these all in the bag. Some of these actually, these preload clips and stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna be doing using that stuff. So, anyways, um, I'm not gonna change the uh, piston here. There's still gonna be the stock two hole. What I'm gonna do is uh, adjust the preload here and stuff like that. So yeah, wish me luck. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the shock cap. There we go. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys, you should have uh, upgraded your your shock caps to at least um, aluminum. Yeah, that's true. But I haven't had a lot of shock popping issues on my on my slash or any of my other RCs. And this oil is still fairly fairly new. Interesting. Still, still purple. Because uh, originally it was, yeah, still purple, brand new. So uh, yeah. So that's just, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so grab a can of towel. Just wipe off the shaft. Okay. So what I'm actually gonna do is. right here I'm gonna take this off take off the eyelid and then push the piston out and then what I'm going to do with the shaft is actually, because I did this on my bandit before, 
is to actually grab if I have some up here in the, in the parts bin somewhere. This is actually the stuff that I'm actually talking about. One of these. Uh, it's gonna be hard for this one, but uh, one of these little pieces right here. This actually go to the shock shaft. That's uh, they actually fill up spacers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab the shock shaft and put it on there and do that. Look, some ah, look something like that right there. Install this eyelid down here. So now the car actually sits a little lower. So yeah, so it also helps reduce droop as well. Because um, my slash actually kind of suffers a, a lot of droop, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this fill this uh, shock up with 50 weight shock oil. I'm actually gonna do it just little by little, so at least the shock oil can actually. circulate itself. It helps to reduce um, air bubbles inside. And there's still some. Okay. So let it do that. What I'm doing is actually moving the shock shaft up and down. So it helps circulate the the shock oil. And it's also helped to prevent air bubbles inside. Because you don't want air bubbles in a shock. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So since that's done, what I can do now is go ahead and grab the diaphragm or the gasket and just let it sit in there. And put the cap itself on. There's gonna be some shock oil seeping out. That's okay. It will get sealed once I cover this up. All right, just clean her up. And then you can tell that the shock is good if you see it rebounding. That's good. So, I guess that's uh, complete for the first one. Now I'm, what I'm gonna do next is just uh, do the same thing. I'm not gonna bore you guys out with me doing a full length video of me doing each shock all the time. You, you guys are gonna get bored of that. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and cut to the chase and go to the time. Shock. New spring on it too. This is quite stiff, I'll be honest with you. But uh, it definitely works. That 50 weight shock wheel is doing its job. So with 100 weight, it's gonna be a little bit stiffer. The dampening will be a little bit stiffer, but you know, 
I'm not really focusing more on that one. I just need a little bit of a less shock oil weight. Um, yeah, I know the Slash is technically a heavier car, but you know, it's not, it's gonna, it's not gonna perform, it's not going to perform bad. So, like I said, I'm, all, I'm actually gonna be doing the uh, remaining three shocks, but I'm not going to bore you guys out with all the, all the real time thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and time lapse it. go there's the all all the other shocks right there well full shocks so I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod but first I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up real quick before I continue okay so there's the all my four shocks all together now red is, is the back and then the white is the front they're actually pretty decently stiff Yep, pretty decently stiff. Um, these are actually running off of the 50 weight shock oil. And I was actually supposed to use the 70 weight shock oil in the front, but the piston actually has four holes on it. So in order for me to compensate a little bit of it, I had to go with the highest one I have right now, which is a 100 weight shock oil. So I can still be able to use 70 weight shock oil on some of my other RC projects. So it's always nice to have some extra shock oil in hand, especially in different weights. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the truck and uh, I'll see you from there. Mm -hmm. 